Pisces, welcome back to my channel for another reading. If you are new here, my name is Jen and I help people find their passion and their purpose using techniques such as astrology, tarot, and intuitive coaching. So if you're interested in working with me, be sure to check the link in my description box. Also, I'm so excited to announce that I am opening my course. It's basically my tarot mastermind. It is so much more than just learning how to read tarot. It's learning how to chat tap into your magic, channel those divine downloads, and use that to magnetize abundance, love, and success. How we can basically create work from a space of, you know, divine source. Um, so it's also going to be, you know, all about building your tarot business, how to start making money if you are wanting to um, build a tarot business. There's going to be a lot of information on that as well. Also to live stream Q and A's from me. So be sure to check that out down in the description box. You're going to get lifetime access. So anytime that I reopen the course and add more to it, you're going to get access to that as well. So highly recommend um, checking it out and I would love to have you. So let's get into this reading. The song I got on shuffle for you guys was Gucci Gang. Um, I really don't know who sings that. Let me see. Lil Pump. Lil Pump. Um, there's something here I think it has to do with, one, I think you're just vibing like, um, but also I think that there's, you're, you're coming into some kind of financials here too. That's kind of an emphasis I'm seeing. Might be boosting your confidence, but let's see. Um, Oracle cards, laugh at your demons. Okay, so we could be moving on from some self-limiting beliefs. Reach for the stars, yeah. Um, and then engage higher reasons. So I'm sensing a theme here. I'm sensing a theme. I'm sensing you're feeling some kind of drive to push forward. Um, let's see, we have the nine of cups. Um, you could be feeling very happy. This could be, you know, you know, being in that happiness, lots of celebration, being in Pisces season. Um, but this could also be some kind of wish fulfillment that's actually coming in for you. So here is the overall energy. We have the two of wands, which can talk about taking some kind of action or some kind of action being taken towards you. This kind of looking forward, moving forward, seeing the opportunities that lie ahead. So let's pull a clarifier for this card. Two of wands. We have the six of six of pentacles. So like I said, I feel like there's some kind of opportunity that's coming in for you or some kind of um, return on your, like an investment, return on an investment or like money coming back to you. Maybe it was an investment of energy and you're finally seeing the return of that. Um, so we have the Six of Swords here. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the King of Pentacles. This could be literally somebody who comes in and invests in you. Or this could be that you're finding some kind of counterpart. Like somebody's coming in here who is very financially, financially well off. Um, but the Six of Swords here, this is like part of why this is coming in is because you are moving on from some some kind of conflict, some kind of turbulence that you had been going through. Uh, with that Wheel of Fortune, this is definitely, like you're currently in the process of making a big shift. Um, let's see, Six of Swords. We have the Seven of Cups. This is a very Piscean card to me. It's almost like um, you're leaving behind this like illusion, like this feeling of this can only exist in my daydreams. I feel like you're leaving behind that mentality and you're actually taking action towards something. So something I think is coming in for you that's going to make you feel like, oh, my dreams are actually a reality. If you're trying to manifest somebody who's like, like on their boss shit or something, you might be having some kind of opportunity to be like, oh, um, you know, my dream is to be with somebody who's really successful and now I'm really successful or I have this confidence that I can magnetize that or attract that. Or it might just be in your own sphere 
of what your dreams are, there's something that's like coming in that's going to make you feel like, oh, it's not just a dream, it can actually happen. So let's see, the King of Pentacles here. What is the King of Pentacles doing here? There we go, we got the Nine of Cups. This is that wish fulfillment. There's something coming in here, something coming in. It might be a job offer, it might be, because we have the Eight of Pentacles here, which is making me think work related or something related to your finances. Um, it can be tied to love, but there's some kind of offer opportunity coming in. Uh, that's going to make you want to work harder. Like it's going to make you want to work harder to make something happen. Um, and it bodes well. It's very, there's a lot of success here. So eight of pentacles here. What's the eight of pentacles doing here? Oh, the strength card and the eight of cups. So yeah, whatever this is coming in, it gives you the strength to walk away from something that has no longer been serving you. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and guess that it's been kind of this feeling of apathetic um, boredom. Like I feel like you felt like, you know, the opportunities that have been presented to you, you haven't been too thrilled about. And maybe there's been like an opportunity lingering here. Um, that you have failed to look at but since you've kind of started making this shift now you're seeing this opportunity and you're like oh that's actually a really viable viable opportunity so let's see why this four of cups is here temperance yeah blending it's almost like an opportunity that's been presented to you in the past is now blended with a new opportunity and it's kind of um now it's more to your liking. Like there's something that's more to your liking here. Um, so I don't know if that's love. I don't know if that is career. But we have the Ten of Swords here, uh, and then the Queen of Swords, and then the Ten of Cups. So you're cutting away this kind of uh, mental anguish. You're you're moving on from this uh, betrayal. Oh. Two of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. You're stepping into that power. You're stepping into that, um, yeah, that that fiery energy here with the Two of Cups. I feel like you're moving on from this feeling of like hurt betrayal, feeling like you are, you know, you keep getting screwed over. I feel like you're moving away from that, but there's some kind of communication that comes in for you. And this could be a new relationship or some kind of new partnership here with the Two of Cups that's gonna really make you stand in your power um, because it's what you've kind of been waiting for to come in. And honestly, it could be a relationship. It could be this like, you've been here and you've been like, nothing's come in that's even like what I want, what's worth my time. Um, and maybe there was somebody there that was like, oh, they're a good option, but I just don't feel that, that spark, that connection. But then somebody comes in that kind of has it all and you're like fired up again. You're like fired up again. You're like, okay, I'm excited. I'm excited again. Like I finally see something. And we have the 10 of cups here. Um, and you're, it's going to kind of influence all your life because you're going to be recharged, like re-motivated to do some kind of work to like get that, get that energy going. So let's see the 10 of cups and the five of wands. So it could be this emotional fulfillment. It could also be that you start attracting a lot more people, a lot more people. And through that, you meet this one particular person or you're just bossing up in general and you're going to start attracting a lot more attention. So it's almost gonna feel like people are fighting over you. So it's not even like just one person, even though I feel like there is one specific person that might um, charge up this energy. Like it's like the domino effect. It's like one person that comes in that gets you kind of hyped and then you're like, oh wait, I have so many people. That's always how it goes, isn't it? Um, like one person comes in and then all of a sudden they all come in at the same time and you just have tons of options. All right. So let's see. Um, let's pull some monology cards. We have bring love into the situation. So yeah, there's definitely a need to reconnect with that love energy because I feel like at the moment you're in kind of this like 
the the emotions aren't flowing like you're kind of in this kind of it's almost like that depressed state of like uh I don't even have anything to be excited for so the more you start evoking that in yourself the more you are going to attract it what do you need to release so that is like letting go of that letting go of that feeling and then a new start is coming I love it confirmation a new start is coming you are about to be in a totally new energy you are about to go into a shift so the emphasis is on focusing on that forward movement and I really think that what's coming next for you in love while it might be a specific person who gets that gets that energy in motion I feel like you have a lot of people that are going to be fighting for your attention especially when you're coming from this place of being emotionally fulfilled um, and being kind of open so that's what I'm seeing for you guys, Pisces. In the extended, I'll look into the archetype cards, get more specifics on the energies. I will look into some heart-to-heart -heart messages, pull some more tarot, as well as the sexual tarot. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box. Be sure to check out my tarot course, and I will see you over in the extended. Bye. Mm -hmm.